Oh, hail the beat, and we back with another episode of Big B Yeah, that ain't me. <laughs> hey guys, Kevin. In today's video, I teach you how to apply fragrance for cooler months to get great projection. If you like these kind of videos, cool. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, then turn on notification for our future video and live stream updates. Show your boys some love. Fall, winter time, cooler months are here. It's fashion and fragrance season. That's a great thing, but some of you guys are running into a big problem. You love your freshies, you love your citruses, you love all those good things, and you might even be one of those kind of guys who's a chronic undersprayer. You're afraid of what people are gonna say, people are gonna say about you, I'm oh, gonna choke them out, such and so forth. I got you covered. But there's some of you out there who like to really rock it, what you're saying, Kevin, I can't wear my other stuff because it's not lasting, it's not performing. Well, a big part of the reason why fragrances don't perform is because of your skincare routine. It has nothing to do with the fragrances. Let's get into how I do it for the cooler months to make sure I get maximum projection. First of all, wash your ass. Yeah, you gotta wash your butt. Keep yourself clean. Come out of a nice hot shower and then apply lotion. I like to give you a cocoa butter. You know, that's something we tend to do. Cocoa butter, shea butter, all work well and keep you heavily moisturized. Also, there's not much scent in here, so don't worry about that. That is the question I get asked a lot. Well, what, what kind of lotion? Should it be scented, unscented, such and so forth? It should be quality and keep your skin hydrated. Stop buying the cheap stuff that's 89 cents and then putting $300 fragrance on it. Spend 5, 10, 20 bucks on some body moisturizer and have your skin be able to carry your fragrance all day. Only makes sense. Think of it this way. You wouldn't take an expensive car and put cheap oil in it. Don't put cheap lotion on your expensive body. Next, apply your fragrance. Say you have something like Gucci Envy. This stuff is discontinued and not inexpensive. You want to make sure you get the best out of it. I apply here, here, and right at the base of my throat. Yup. Then I apply on the back of each hand. Why on the back of each hand? My arm is covered in the cooler months. I have things around my wrist, and I don't want that to get on my fragrance. I apply the back of my hand, so when I make hand motions, people can smell it. I also hit the back of my neck because I'm taller, and it tends to create a fragrance trail, kind of like a drag. If you're going to go out, apply to each shoulder. Yeah, you can apply fragrance on the top of your clothes depending upon the color of the juice. Pro tip, make sure you carry a travel spray. This is a Travalo, and I dedicate one to each one of my fragrances. You don't have to go that over the top. You can go to Sephora and get one of those little plastic sprays and just put about five sprays in there just to get you from here to the end of the evening. Remember, you don't want to store your fragrance in those because it can tend to corrupt the fragrance, especially the higher quality stuff. Just put enough in there and make it last. And by the way, you can clean these out. There's videos out there showing you guys how to put alcohol in and clean out. I do that too, but you want to make sure you carry one. But I know some of you are saying, that's nothing new. I already do all that. I thought you were going to give me some insider information. Molecule one, two, four. You know what I think about Molecule 01. You know I use this to help elongate projection and performance of fragrances. Yes, I use this more with woody fragrances, more cedar fragrances and things like that. There's a list that this works best with. Well, what about fragrances that lean sweet? What about those kind of fragrances? Got you covered. Amberoxin. You like Dior Sauvage, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol. This is the thing that carries most of it. If you have your ambers and things like that, your sweeter fragrances, this tends to make it last longer and be more round. And for me, it only enhances the fragrance profile. And then in the middle, creamy, sexy sandalwood, molecule 04. I use this one, I have creamier fragrances, creamy, sweeter, florals, that kind of thing. For me, I use these fragrances in combination with a great skincare routine and it helps my fragrances project through all of the different layers. Also, remember you gotta apply in layers. Put it on your body on your first layer. Then when you put your clothes on, spray a little in the air and walk through it. But it also doesn't hurt to put on a little bit more and just get it up around this area. Bottom line is that it's cooler outside. You don't have enough surface area. You got to apply fragrance to the areas that are going to be showing. Remember, if you have it on the back of your hands, take that into consideration when you go wash your hands, such and so forth. Yes, you can still wash your hands. Just make sure you pat dry. It just takes a little bit more effort, 
It just takes a little bit more thinking. You can actually smell great in the cooler months with little to no problem. These are good habits no matter what you do. But hey, don't take my word for it. Hit us up in the comments section, guys. Let us know what are some of the tips and tricks you use to help fragrances push through these cooler months. Let the guys here know what you do to get you from here to there. As usual, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and share it out to anybody that you think used the information. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Till next time, talk at you later. By the way, you want to stay connected? Follow me on social media. Links down in the description. Peace, two fingers, and I'm out. It's your boy. Summer, summer, summer time is over. It's over, it's over, it's over. It's cooler outside. What are you gonna do to have your fragrances perform? You thought you were gonna do now you didn't think you could just now you didn't just think you could keep up you didn't just think you could keep applying fragrances the normal way, did you? You didn't think I'll just keep doing what I did in the warmer months and it'll work. No 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 no. You're not drinking iced tea at 20 degrees, are you? You're drinking hot cocoa. You're not drinking ice you're not drinking iced coffee, you you're not drinking iced coffee, you're drinking other coffee. Well, as the temperature change, you have to change your fragrance application methods. All the as the as the temperature change, so do your fragrance application methods. You have to do what you have to do to get what you want out of it. It's going to take a few more steps, just like when you go out. And yes, it's going to take more effort. It's the winter time. Yes, it's going to take more effort, but it's cooler months. It takes more effort to even get ready in the daytime. Yes, it's going to take more effort, but everything takes more effort this time of year. You can't just throw on some shorts, t-shirt, and some tennis shoes and run out. You got to put on some clothes. In that vein, you got to make sure you apply your fragrances correctly to get the most out of it. You don't want to be wasting your juice. More importantly, you don't want to not wear your juice. Let's get going.